So here's how to create animation videos on Canva. First of all, open up canva.com and log in to your account. And once you're here, click on create a design on the top left. So once you're here, you can go through all of these options and select videos from here. After that, select video 1080p from the options. Now, wait for this page to load up. And as you can see, we now have a blank canvas. To start creating your animation video, go over to the left panel and select elements. Here, if you scroll through, you can see a lot of elements that you can choose from. You can also use the search bar to search for a specific element. I will search for character. And here on the results, we can see there are a lot of characters that we can choose from. You have options like graphics, photos, etc. So click on see all on graphics. And here you can see so many more characters you can choose from. So scroll through the list and select the one that you want. I will go with this one right here. So after choosing your element or character, you can click on it and drag it around to position it. So place it on your preferred position and resize it according to your preference. So once you're done with this part, Let's go ahead and add some text on the canvas. So select text from the left panel and click on add a text box. And as you can see, our text box has been added. Here, just type in whatever text that you want to add. For this tutorial, I will write something like welcome to my tutorial. Now, if you look on the top, you will get to see options to customize your text. You can increase or decrease the size just like this. Also, you can drag the text box around to reposition it. So set it on your preferred location and change the font from the options available according to your preferences. If you scroll through on the fonts list, you will get to see a lot of options to choose from. You can also use the search bar if you want. And as you can see, our font has been added. So once you're done adding your text, Select it and click on Effects on the top. Then, you will see all the available options on the left side. So go through the options and select the option that best fits your needs. So once done, let's go ahead and click on Text again. After that, click on Add a heading. Now, let's type in a heading for this image. After typing in your heading, you can adjust its position by clicking and dragging the border box. So just like this, make all the necessary adjustments and put it in a way that looks good to you. So I'll go ahead and change its position. After that, let's click on our first text. Then let's increase its size. After that, go ahead and click on animate on the top right. Then if you go over to the left side, you will get to see different animations that you can choose from. And as you hover over them, you will get to see the animation being played out right here on your canvas. So scroll through the options and check out each of the animations. This way, you can find the best one that you want to add. So after going through all of the animations, go ahead and click on the one that you want to add. I will go with this one right here. Now, Let's go ahead and click on the character that we added previously. Then go ahead and click on Animate on the top again. The same way as we did before, let's go ahead and select an animation for this character. And if you notice, the character has different animations than the text, so choose the one that you want. So after choosing the animation, if you scroll down, you will get to see some more options but for most of them, you will need Canva Premium. So once you're done adding your animations, just go ahead and click on the play button right here, and you will get to see your animation being played out right here on your canvas. So now that you're done with your first page, let's go ahead and click on the plus icon to add a new page. Now, just like the previous page, let's go ahead and add a heading. After adding the heading, Let's position it in the middle. Now, go ahead and replace the text with something that you want. For this one, I will type in step 1. So once you're done, let's click on the font section on the top. After that, we'll choose a font from the left side. So once it's done, let's add an effect to this text as well. 
So click on Effects on the top, and then select an effect for your text. So as you can see, we've now added an effect, and it looks completely different. Also, if you want to change the color of the background, click on the background, and click on the color option on the top, and then choose the color from the left panel. So as you can see, we can change the color to whatever color that we want. On the top, you have the solid colors, and if you scroll down, you will get to see gradient options as well. So select the one that you want. So after you're done with your next page, you can drag the slider on the bottom. You can also click on Add Transition right here. That way, you will get to see a pop-up option on the left side. So let's click on Add Transition. And as you can see, there are multiple options that you can choose from for the transition. So go through all of these options and check out whichever one that looks good. Once you find the one, just click on it and it will be added right between your pages. So if you want to add a different character which is animated, go over to Animaker.com. Then click on Create on the top left and select Create a Video. Then you will be redirected to this page right here. Now, you need to select Create a Blank Project right here and then choose your video format from the options here. For this one, I will go with horizontal video. Now, just wait for your new project to be created. This will take a few moments, so be patient. So once it loads up, you will get to see all of these characters on the left side. So scroll through them and select the character that you want. You can also click on see all to get more options. So go through the list and select the character that you want to use. I will go with this one right here. After selecting your character, you can drag it around and change its size. And as you can see, I've made the character bigger. You can also move it around to change its position. So make the necessary adjustments until you're satisfied. And once you're done, go over to the left and select characters if you want to add more characters. Now to animate, click on animation on the top and you can select enter or exit in order to add entry or exit animations. Now let's click on action on the top and then select any of the animations from here. And as you can see, the animation has been added to our character. This way, scroll through the options and select each of the animation to choose whichever one that you want. After that, on the bottom panel, adjust the duration of the animation. Now go ahead and click on play in order to view your animation in action. After that, click on Publish on the top right corner and then wait for it to load up. Here, you will get to see option to download video. So click on Download and set your desired download settings. After that, just click on Download and this animation will be downloaded onto your computer. But before that, since we're using the free version, you will need to wait in queue and it says your video is waiting on the rendering queue. So be patient and wait for it to get done. And as you can see, it's now done exporting. Now, just go ahead and click on download right here and it will be downloaded onto your computer. And as you can see, it's now done. Now, let's go back to the Canva tab. Now to add our newly created animation here, click on uploads on the left panel and click on upload files. After that, just choose your newly downloaded animation. You can also drag your animation here just like this. And as you can see, it's now being uploaded on Canva. So wait for it to get done and you can select it to add it onto your canvas just like this. So let's delete the previous one and use this new character animation instead. So now let's go ahead and adjust the position of our animation just like this. You can set it however you like. So once you're done with the position, just go over to the bottom panel and make sure that all the animations are in place. You can also adjust the duration of the animation from the bottom panel if you want. And once you're done and everything is set, just go ahead and click on the play button and you will get to see your animation in action. And here you can see it looks pretty good. So once you're done with your animation, if you want to export the animation from Canva, just go ahead and click on share on the top right corner. 
After that, you will get to see options for downloading or sharing. So click on download and choose your file type and then click on download. And that is exactly how to create animation videos on Canva.